Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, I kind of just want to discuss things uh, about the channel, about the game, and kind of about the future, at least relatively close future. Uh, I don't have any plans long term, but uh, do expect long term plans. I, I will be here for quite some time, but the main thing I want to bring up is uh, Musty's video that I saw a little while back. You guys may have seen it too. But it's kind of talking about, he kind of talked about the the space right now in the game and how as creators, at least for him, uh, there's no outlet anymore besides just grinding ranked. There's very little as a creator that he can do and there's also very little that I can do. But I'm going to continue to keep doing what I'm doing. There won't be any change in that. Hopefully every now and then there will be a different type of video. But I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave that more on the uh the down low, just so you guys know. Because I have something right now that's on the down low that is getting edited and put into a video as we speak. But my main point is that there's very little creativity outlets left in the game and what i mean by that is you see very few different types of rocket league videos there's the ranked leaderboard or there's the ranked there's the guess the rank there's the this person thinks they deserve champ when they're diamond those are pretty much and then like freestyling but very little differences in the game right and we're all playing the same game right it's all rocket league but if we take a game like hmm if we take a game like rainbow six siege for example there's different types of creators for that game and it suffers from the same sort of situation that we are in but for events and like holidays and stuff they actually innovate and bring out game modes for us we get a snowy map and we get maybe boomer ball but boomer ball has been in the game since 2015 i'm pretty sure and you know it hasn't evolved the the game hasn't evolved and the player base at least creators wise we're looking for a way to make content on the game to keep its lifespan going because as creators, that's what people do. They they give life to something, right? They share and get it out there, right? But with very little at our disposal and very little out of our disposal, or out of our hands, not disposal, out of our hands, uh, we can't really do anything about it. And then we have people like Lethemir, Simple Shark, map creators that are exclusively on PC uh, and I'll, I'll bring that up a little bit later, uh, that are exclusively PC, that only PC players get benefits, and if we look at someone like Jinxie in the Siege community, he's brought light to the console community, and a lot of console people are, it's untapped potential, really, especially for content, and, you know, it's just a slept-on side of gaming right now. Except for Helldivers 2, which is fantastic and is bringing everyone in, hopefully. But with Rocket League, it's, you know, the same game on console as it is on PC. But, you know, PC has every single benefit there is to it. Custom maps, uh, Steam Workshop maps, whatever you want to call them. Bacchus Mod maps, whatever you want to call them. We have that advantage. And we also have higher frames, higher whatever that just console can't have access to and it really sucks it really does and you know i play with console players all the time and you know it's just they're at a disadvantage just base game wise that it's hard for you know people to keep playing the game and i know the the people that i play with i'm not speaking for them but i'm speaking uh to what i think <laughs> It's gonna happen is that they're just gonna play the game less and less and over time you know they drop the game which is fine people do that for everything and 
you know, this game over time uh, has definitely died down in its hype, you know, we're, we're no longer one of the, the top games on Twitch, and, you know, instead of we're the top, one of the toxic communities in all the gaming space, right? Very, very far fall from grace, in my opinion. And, you know, that kind of leads into one of my other points, is that how to improve. Uh, in general, Psyonix, Epic, whoever's in charge these days, they gotta bring custom maps to console. They have to. And I'm not talking custom maps as in custom training. I'm talking like Rings 3. I'm talking Lethemir Rings maps. Like they have all the files right there. They have all the things right there. It's just really hard to do that on console. And I don't know the, the coding or anything. I'm not saying I'm a coding wizard. I'm just saying that is it really that impossible to bring at least some sort of custom maps to console? Because not only would that help console out in general, it would allow players to, you know, practice things that aren't in custom packs, right? The custom track or packs, not tracks, custom packs are just like specialized shots but if someone on console could play rings 3 they'd improve on their aerial car control way faster than they can the with the things that are already there and you know i think that really helped them out a lot you know but you know how that's gonna go epic's gonna go mm, no never mind or sonics is gonna go oh we can't do that so it's just, I'm just throwing ideas into the wind right now. But if I were to say another thing that could improve is the pro scene. The pro scene is our bloodline right now. It is our saving grace. And shout out to K Corp in the EU finals or whatever for the first open or whatever it's called these days. Uh, for bringing in world, not world record, for but Rocket League record viewers. I think it's that almost half a million uh, viewers for the K Corp finals against, uh, I think it was Gentlemates on our first week back. So, just shout out to that. And, you know, I'm gonna be that guy, but you right now, maybe past few RLCS seasons, have been better than NA. I'm gonna say it. But that doesn't mean that NA is bad. It's just EU is peaking right now. And take what you say, take what I say, however you internalize it. But watch out for G2. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Watch out for G2. But other than that, Farah brought up a tweet. I'm not going to read any of it right now. But he brought up a tweet. That he essentially goes over what could improve. And I agreed with most of it, right? But the one thing I think that should change is the age limit. I don't think 13 year olds should be playing in RLCS. And I definitely don't think that the prize pool should be lowered just because they want uh, people to make money in top 128 or whatever it is. I think that is the silliest decision. But it, it's also a good decision because it brings uh, more more people into the scene right gives more people light but it shouldn't be the cost of a prize pool it should come out of epic's pockets because you know they're a multi-billion dollar company probably trillion at this point but they they really should invest more into the scene because with more investment in my opinion the scene can go instead of like a b tier or a tier it could go s tier i think instantly the concept of the game isn't hard, but when you watch pros do it, it looks so good, man. You watch someone like Daniel, you watch someone like Zen, you watch someone like Rawas, they make the game look so cool and so easy and so, like, light work that it honestly is amazing to watch them play. But, you know, we can't do any of that as long as uh, people that are in charge don't know what they're doing. 
and I will shout out to Blast for changing some things apparently uh, that needed to be changed like right away. Apparently they're very reactive and very responsive, but you know, that's just what I've heard. So it could be true, it could be false. But another thing I want to bring up is just general support to the game. And what I kind of mean by that is just supporting the game. We obviously have disconnect from anyone working anything on this game and the community. There was one glimpse, one glimpse of hope that we had when one of the uh, community managers or uh, not community managers, but uh, one of the people that work at uh, work on the Rocket League Twitter uh, said something instead of showing us a new bundle that no one's gonna buy. That was the one glimmer of hope we've had, but nothing since then. And we need to change that drastically. We look at games like Epic, or not games like Epic, uh, games like Fortnite. Their team is on it 24-7, right? And it's the one thing I'll praise Fortnite for, but never again. One praise is all you get, but... It's it's just sad. You look at the main company that's doing all they can for their game, and then they buy the rights to this game, and they do nothing with it. Which I unfortunately saw coming. <laughs> but, you know, it's very, it's very ine inevitable. Right? As Thanos once said, I'm inevitable. So is big companies buying smaller and just disregarding them. Right? They have so much untapped potential in this game. Where it's frustrating, right? Just improve the prize pool. Pros can play, honestly, play harder for more money. I mean, I would. But if you guys do want to see the Farah tweet, I will try to find it and try to link it in the description. I don't know if it's gone or not, but I'll try to find something there. But just support the game. Little little hot fixes to fix the leaderboard that has been blank for over two weeks. It's not the most difficult feature in the game. It's I just want to see where my friends are at on the leaderboard and see where how much how much MMR Zen's at because apparently if you didn't see the video he's at 2600. I wouldn't be able to see that because you know the ranked leaderboard is down for some reason. And it took a Bacchus mod for me to fix the rank system that just disappeared for a few hours. Whatever that means. But, yeah, I also have a picture of that on my uh, community tab if you guys are interested in seeing what I mean. But, uh, yeah, just simple things that they can do to improve the game, the life of the game. These little, uh, these big updates that they say that they're going to bring in game modes and stuff, that's great. I checked out them today. It was a boomer ball with no bounce and, uh, what's it called? Custom Labs or whatever it's called. That's great. Why hasn't that been in the game since day one? Well, the labs section was. They took it out for some reason. You know, just bring that back. <laughs> like, it's really not that hard. You have something so great, so much potential, and you ruin it. It's just sad. And, you know... This obviously affects me and what I do. So, with this in mind, I'm going to be having a a new schedule come March. Uh, I'll wait a little, like a week in or so. Pretty much, pretty much the second week of March. Uh, I will have this new schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday. With streams and shorts in between. And it's probably going to be a stream, a short, a video, or a video... A stream, a short, a video. Stream, short, video. So you guys will, will see me just as much. But it'll be over longer periods of time, right? Let's say I have a video on Monday. On Tuesday, I will stream and have a short uploaded for you guys. Same thing on Thursday. Instead of this kind of block schedule that I've had. Because it was my school schedule. And it's kind of stuck to it. So it's kind of random, kind of not. But... I want to have a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule and to start up streaming again 
but I was kind of not overwhelmed, but it's kind of a lot of work making sure everything is going good on all fronts. So I kind of dropped streaming recently, but I want to bring it back with kind of more more energy. So th essentially Tuesday, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and both weekend days, I will try to be streaming. And Monday video, Wednesday video, Friday video, and then Saturday and Sunday are both shorts and streams just to keep it consistent. So you will got you guys will see me just as much, but yeah, and that will happen on March sometime in March. I'll let you guys know with the community post and a little section in a video, if not its own video. So yeah, but going back to my main point of very little creative outlets left, uh, that's kind of why I'm switching up the the recording schedule is because. There isn't much to much more to upload than what I'm already doing now, and you know I thought I'd take it one one more day off just to relieve some more stress. Cause if you guys don't do this yourselves, you don't really know how much stress it is to keep a channel. I'm not saying oh poor me, poor me, but it takes a big mental toll. And really, the only break I had was a Christmas break, and it's a it's a 24-7, I guess, job, if you really want it to be. So, that's my kind of idea behind it. But, other than that, I don't want to take up more, any more of you guys' time. Just leave you guys with some thoughts of what would you do to improve the game? How would you improve the scene, pro scene, this game in general? And, uh, yeah. Hope you all have a good rest of your day, night, whatever time it is for you. I'll see you guys in action. Peace.